Well, students, yesterday we are discussing some reactions of aldehydes and ketones, oxidation property that is reaction of aldehyde with Tollens reagent and boiling solution, then iodopor reaction or in general halopor reaction. So after this, we have to discuss about aldol condensation and Kanijaro reaction and some electrophilic substitution reaction. Well, in case of aldol condensation, the aldehyde or ketone containing alpha hydrogen undergoes self-condensation in presence of dilute NaOH to give a compound which contain aldehydic group and also the alcoholic group. So it is called ald or OL means alcoholic, ald means aldehyde. So compound forward contains aldehydic group and also the alcoholic group. If it is ketone, the compound forward contains ketonic group and alcoholic group. So we are also naming that one as ketone. In case of aldehyde, aldol. In case of ketone, ketone. But in general, we used to say it is aldol. That means there must be alpha hydrogen. So why it undergo condensation? It is because of acidic nature of alpha hydrogen. So you have to identify which one is alpha carbon and how many alpha hydrogens are there. So let us discuss some aldol condensation. Aldol condensation. What you have to recognize? Which one is alpha carbon and how many alpha hydrogens are there. So, example I am writing CH3, then C double bond OH. So, this is the function of aldehyde. This is alpha carbon. And hydrogen attached to alpha carbon are acidic in nature. So, why they are acidic? Because we have strong electron in the drawing group. C double bond is electron in the drying group and the removal of proton or hydrogen easily takes place by base like NaOH and whatever the thing obtained as a resonance structure. How many alpha hydrogen we have? All these three are alpha hydrogen. So we have three alpha hydrogen. That means you must be able to identify number of alpha hydrogen. Suppose if you have a compound like this, CH3, example is ketone, C double bond, O, CH3. It's a propane. How many alpha hydrogen we have? We have totally two alpha carbon adjacent. Adjacent to CO. This is alpha, this is also alpha, and all these three are alpha hydrogen again these three are also alpha hydrogen totally 3 plus 3 6 alpha hydrogen ok suppose if I have compound like CH3 then it's a CH2 then C double bond O CH3 how many alpha hydrogen are there you must be able to identify the alpha hydrogen. So we have, these are the two alpha hydrogens. This is one, this is one more. This is not alpha, this is beta, alpha beta. This one is alpha, this one is beta. Only related to the alpha carbon or alpha hydrogen. Again this is alpha hydrogen. So totally we have how many alpha hydrogen? Totally 5 alpha hydrogen. We have 5 alpha hydrogen. Okay, I think you are followed. Why it is acidic? Alpha hydrogen in aldehydes and ketones are acidic because the carbonyl group is strong electron in the drying group and the hydrogen of H atom can be 
absorbed, I mean the removed by the strong base like NaOH. So what is aldol condensation? Aldehyde or ketone containing alkyl hydrogen undergo some condensation in presence of dilute NaOH. You need a base in presence of dilute NaOH to give aldol which on heating gives alpha, beta, unsaturated aldehyde or ketone. So, aldol condensation. Aldehydes or ketones. Aldehydes or ketones undergoes undergoes condensation in presence of in presence of dilute NaOH dilute NaOH to give to give aldol what's the meaning of aldol? aldehyde plus alcohol so compound form contains both aldehyde group and it is alcohol Examples Number 1 So it is CH3 CH4 I am writing the open structure CH3 C double bond OH Acetal dehyde Acetal dehyde Plus we have one more molecule of acetal dehyde CH3 C double bond OH Now this cytogen this cytogen out of 3 1 nitrogen links to this oxygen and it forms CH2 bond So in presence of dilute NaOH this is important dilute NaOH Product for this CH3 COH H then this CH2 C double bond OH. So it is aldehyde and alcoholic group in general it is called aldol. This aldol. So which aldol it is? The name of this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is a 4 oxo, then with the prop but 4 oxo, butane 2 O, or in general it is aldol. So aldol on heating, so this on heating undergo elimination now, it undergo reaction to eliminate to give alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone. So you have CH3, CH double bond, CH, then this CHO and H2. So it is alpha beta unsaturated, alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Alpha, beta, unsaturated aldehyde is the product. And the IUPSC name of this compound is number here 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is alpha, beta, this is alpha, this one is beta. So alpha, beta, unsaturated aldehyde or ketone. So IUPSC name of this one is but. Total number of carbon atoms are 3 with the prop but. But. On the second carbon, we have double bond, En, then 1R. But to En, 1R is the product obtained when the aldol is heated. A second example, second example is CH3, C double bond O, C 
see it. Plus, we have CH3, C double bond O, CH3. In presence of dilute NaOH, in presence of dilute NaOH, the product is CH3, then OH, CH3, we have CH2, C double bond O, CH3. This is called ketone. In general, aldol, but we have a ketone or acetone, so it is ketone. This is ketone, the name is acetone. Its name is acetone. In presence of dilute NaOH, use this product. Now, alpha beta, formation of alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Elimination now of this hydrogen takes place. So it's alpha with respect to this uh, C double bond O and this one is beta. That there must be a double bond between alpha and beta carbon with respect to ketonic group or with respect to aldehyde So we have CH3, then CCH3, double bond CH, then we have C double bond. O, CH3 and H3. So alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone. Alpha, beta, unsaturated, unsaturated ketone. So what's the name of this one? Well, at number bus. But number of bonds is sent because you have to give reference to the ketonic group compared to double bond. So it is first carbon, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Well, the name of this one is 4 methyl, 4 methyl. Then we have total number of carbon atoms are 5. So it is pent, pent. On this third carbon we have double bond, 3 En, then on second carbon we have ketonic group, so it is 2 OnE. This is the IPSC name of the alpha beta unsaturated compound formed in the aldol condensation. So what are the important parts in aldol condensation? So, Dilute NaOH there must be because we need a strong base. So NaOH is strong base. All these uh, two molecules of aldehydes or ketones undergo self condensation to give the aldol. In case of ketone, it is a ketone. And afterwards, it undergo elimination reaction to give alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Then cross aldehyde condensation or cross aldol condensation cross aldol cross aldol condensation different aldehydes or different ketones or it is different aldehydes and different ketones undergo condensation in presence of dilute NaOH to give aldol is called cross aldol condensation. So for cross aldol condensation, the two different aldehydes or two different ketones or two different aldehydes and ketones undergo condensation. Two different aldehydes or two different ketones or aldehydes and ketones undergo condensation to different aldehydes or aldehydes or two different ketones or two different ketones or 
aldehyde and ketones means one aldehyde and one more is ketone undergo undergo self condensation self condensation in presence of in presence of dilute nuoh to give all the is called cross aldol condensation cross aldol condensation cross aldol condensation example condensation between condensation between condensation between ethanol and propanol ethanol and propanol I want to see whether it's there or not. For the syllabus, you see that one first. Is there or not? Probably. Probably uh, is not there. Yes. For the uh, annual exam or board exam, this condensation is not there. Condensation between days, ethanol and propane. Why not methanol? Why methanol? You are not using here because methanol do not contain alpha hydroxide. Methanol is HCHO formaldehyde. No alpha carbon, no alpha hydrogen. Here we have alpha hydrogen. You are getting four products. So four products. You have to complete this one at home. So first one is ethanol CH3 C double bond O H and CH3 C double bond O H second when you are using this uh, propanol CH3 CH2 C double bond O H plus we have CH2 CHO CH3 why is it written like this? Because only alpha hydrogen is not in condensation, not this one. Remember this point, it's important. Only alpha hydrogen is not in condensation. So, uh, from the point of complete examination, it's important. Third one, third one, CH3, C double bond O, H, then again CH2. CH3, CHO. Again, same thing. Alpha carbon, alpha hydrogen, not beta, not beta. Al, this one is functional group. Alpha carbon, beta carbon. Functional group. Alpha carbon, beta carbon. Alpha hydrogen, alpha hydrogen. Four. CH3. Then we have CH2. C double bond OH and then plus we have CH3, CH. This is alpha, so alpha hydrogen, no need to rearrange. Complete the equation at home. We have to write equation, two equation. First one is solved all. Afterwards, alpha beta are in this set to give alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Well, the next one is it is the Reaction of benzaldehyde with stofinone in cross aldol condensation only. Reaction of reaction of benzaldehyde with with stofinone. 
into V0. We know the formula for benzoyl type. C6H4 C double bond OH This is benzoyl type. Then acetophenone we have C6H5 then C double bond O CH It's a special type of cross hydrogen condensation here there is no alpha hydrogen no alpha hydrogen this one is the functional group and on this carbon there is no hydrogen that means there is no option carefully CH, 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 not H, H is replaced by CH. So this is alpha carbon, no alpha hydrogen. This is alpha carbon, 3 alpha hydrogen. So it undergo condensation in presence of dilute NUH. The product is So first you are getting aldol OH H then it is CH2 C double bond O then we have a benzene ring elimination of H2 takes place So it is CH, then we have double bond C, H, C double bond O, plus H2 O. The product name is, it is trans, trans, Alkyl CHIL CONA trans, so it is a trans, this is trans, culcan, culcan means this is a common name for this one is culcan. So the hydrogen atoms are in the trans position, so it is called trans culcan, and I guess the name of this one is benzal acetophenone. Benzoyl acetophenone. So we know this is called benzoyl and this one is called acetophenone. Suppose we have CH3. So this benzoyl acetophenone is the chemical name or the IPS name of this compound. So in aldol condensation, what you have to remember that must be alpha hydrogen. It may be minimum one alpha hydrogen without alpha hydrogen. There is no aldol condensation. Well, afterwards, when there is no alpha hydrogen, suppose if you have alpha hydrogen, condensation takes place to give aldol or ketone. If there is no alpha hydrogen at all, then you are then also aldehyde undergo condensation and that reaction is called Kanijaro reaction. So let us discuss on Kanijaro reaction. Kanijar reaction. So aldehyde not containing alpha hydrogen. In aldol we need alpha hydrogen. Aldehyde. not containing alpha hydrogen not containing alpha hydrogen under condensation in presence of
alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylase Metal nitro benzoate. 